Oh, I'm not for inside. I will not go market today. That's all. Check where another one. So let me see. Let me see. Hi. 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 Why they not make? I said, maybe you put them 500. Yeah, yeah. Okay, don't put them here. So 500, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. What is that? I'm going to ask you. 4,000. Huh? Eh? 4,000. 4,000. 500. 4,500. This 1,500. Anyhow, you can get it. Okay. How much? This one, 25. 700, 300. Which one is it? 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 Which one is Guys, at this point, I'm really exhausted. I'm tired and very disappointed because. I'm looking at my things and I really do have to drop quite a bit of stuff like I have to leave some things and I'm so sentimentally attached to some of my things like I don't even know where to start honestly I'm just looking at my things like how am I going to make it work and I'm really scared of I'm really scared of um, having excess but I'm thinking that I just have to make it work. I have to find a way to make it work. Like, I just have to find a way to make it work. I'm just looking at my things like, really? What am I going to do? So, this was gifted to me by my colleagues um, for my send forth. I thought I would be able to wear it to board, but I don't think I can because um, I understand that at the immigration, they're going to keep asking you to take off your shoes and all of that. And I don't like stress, so I'm going to be um, packing them in my bag. I have three sneakers that I want to carry. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to make it work. This is the second one. Taking out all these things that can actually add add to the load. Now, between these two heels, I'm guessing that I might... Between these two heels, I'm guessing that I might have to drop one of them. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Just sad. I'm, I'm sad. Because I've weighed this box and this box is like already 19 kg once i get up to 20 kg i stop putting anything inside any box just because um i hear that people weigh their boxes and get there and it's still excess so i'm trying to be careful so all of this has to go definitely i'm taking my sneakers so but I, I still want to take at least two or three heels. I just don't know how to do it. That's the issue I'm having. That is the issue I'm having. So, I'm already seeing it. That's, it'd be like, say, we could do excess luggage. <clears throat> My husband will just be looking at me in that airport and shaking his head like this woman. They are very stubborn. Um, yeah, I have one other shoe that I'd like to take, but... <sighs> Between the two of them, I don't know. Which of them should I take? 
I don't mind letting this go. I'm definitely going with this. This one, I know they keep up. I'm definitely going with this. I don't mind leaving this behind. I don't mind. To be honest, I don't mind. Um, let me see. But, um, so inside this bag, I have all my perfumes, all my, um, all my perfumes, all my jewelry. Um, there's quite a lot of heavy stuff in here. So I understand why this bag is actually weighing heavier. My wigs are in here. Um, so I understand why I'm having an issue with this particular bag. I had envisaged it, which is why I left this bag in particular for just these items. I'm not going to be putting anything else apart from the heavy stuff in here. But I don't want it to be too weighty. So I'm looking at it that only two shoes can go into this place. And I have sneakers, guys. I might just have to wear my sneakers and just keep pulling them at the pulling them or just find a way to stow it in my luggage <sighs> wish me luck guys this is not gonna be easy let me show you the shoes that I really want to take I had to go clap so these shoes I love them so much look I love them so much from next and then I have this one is from ASOS I'm not even a shoe person but when I buy shoes I really love them because I'm not even a shoe person but when I do get shoes I love them that's why I get them so there's this one and these shoes weigh quite a bit because of the soles I'm thinking let me see I'll put the two and then I'll wait and I'll see what it comes down to. Let me see if there's hope. Or whether I should just... I should just succumb to my faith. They are not safe for me. <laughs> Let me see. That is the last item going into that bag. I have to find a way to store the other trainers away. I have to find a place to put it in. I'll see you guys. But at this point, I'm officially tired. I think I'm just going to be cleaning up right now. I'll be cleaning up now and just packing up all the rubbish on the floor and all of that. And that will be it for tonight. We continue tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow I'm actually going to have my hair done. Mary is expecting me. I'm even supposed to loosen out my cornrows and wash the hair, condition it. But I think I will do the washing and the conditioning tomorrow morning. I'll wake up really early and have that done. Then I will try to loosen the hair tonight. So I have to get rid of all of this. And guys, it's already, it's already about 9, 9 p.m. So I have to get a move on. See you guys. <laughs> this is Mary Salon, guys. Open eye through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing. morning guys so it's today is monday and um it's a day before i leave so i travel tomorrow 
by now I should have had a lot of things sorted out. I'm not very happy with how things are going, but I want to trust the Holy Spirit that everything is working out for my good. So the cargo lady disappointed me. That's the lady who was supposed to bring my food. My food has been in Lagos since Saturday. Today is Monday. Um, the reason because she didn't time it properly. She didn't um, send the goods on the day they were supposed to leave. And she made the wrong choice of the cargo company. Sorry, my camera is shaking. Let me just switch my hands. So she didn't make a good choice for the cargo company. And um, the transportation company, which is Aquaibom State Transport. So I bought all my food, fish, everything from Calabar. Just because if you've ever had the Calabar fish, it's very, very nice. I grew up in Calabar. I love the fish. It's something that I would look forward to eating. It's something that I would long to eat if I'm in the diaspora. So I took my time to make sure that I shopped from a vendor that delivers stuff from Calabar. Now, the transport company that she used to send the goods to Lagos does not open on Sunday. So when the goods got in on Saturday, I had been informed that I would be going to the park to pick them up on Sunday morning, which I was all game for. And then all of a sudden, she told me that morning that the cargo company does not open. We tried and tried and tried against all odds, but nothing. Okay, so now let's get um, Gokada to deliver the foods to my house. Now, because this tra transport company is all the way in Aja, um, they're charging me or they charged me about 27,000 Naira to get that food stuff from, um, the car from the transport company to my house. And I was like, <laughs> nobody's doing that. Now, I should have left earlier, considering how bad those roads in Aja is, but I'm I was scared of, you know, robbery, kidnap, anything. You know, we know how Nigeria can be, so, and I'm going alone, because my husband has already gone out to do some other stuff for, um, and my plan was actually to take the things that I'm supposed to be traveling with, like the heavier items that I'm not going to be able to carry on the, um, on the plane, to the car to the um, logistics company to help me cargo to Canada this morning and I don't know whether that is still going to happen it does not look like I don't know let me just see how quickly I can come back from Aja today so the things I have to do today I have to go pick up the food I have to go to the cargo company to send some stuff including the food which is why I have to get the food first to Canada Three, I have to get um, dental um, to, to get the dental retainers for my daughter. She also has to do a COVID test today. So, wish me luck, guys. I'm not very happy, but I need to get started. So, I'll see you guys when I get to a transport company. My food stuff is a lot. Let's see how much food stuff I have to deal with, uh, guys. And um, yeah. The bank has not also given me my PTA. That one is a whole story on its own. I'll see you guys very soon once I get to the transportation company. And um, yeah, let's go. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Okay guys, so I'm back home. This carton I'm taking with me to the cargo place, to cargo, to um, Canada. Actually, it's just clothes that are in there and then maybe one or two foodstuffs. But because I feel like I'm going to get excess luggage, I'm going to put some of this. This is beans flour, uh, beans powder, 2 kg. This is afan. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me see. Let me do where the light is better. Dried, afan, grinded. Okay. Yeah. This is Uziza leaf. Everything dehydrated and dried. This is a custard container of bonga fish. Okay. 
and of course the Af the Egusi, Egusi and um, Ogono and stuff. So I'm going to separate everything. This is a this is Benetete leaf. Okay, I'm, going, I'm supposed to be sharing this with my sister. So this is Ogono. Okay, already grinded. So she did everything. These are pepper soup spices. So there's a lot here. I'm just going to share them guys but when i'm packing i will let you guys see detailed packing of how these products were stored all right okay yeah waiting for me so this is the nanga fish that i bought i don't know if you're calabar or maybe from potakot or akwai boom you probably know the nanga fish is like um it's like black um what they call this fish now catfish black catfish and this is like small pieces or small sizes um, I wrapped them with cling film just so that it would stop smelling and guys it's amazing that as soon as I wrapped up everything I couldn't smell anything anymore so I'm going to put them in the fridge in the freezer for tonight and then tomorrow I will seal now that's a little tip for you guys when you put the fish in the freezer it kind of congeals the fish oil so you don't get to smell it as pungent as when it just comes out from the oven when the oils are lubricated and moving around the odor will be deeper when it just comes out of the oven when it's just freshly um, dried but then when you put it in the freezer the freezer will make the oil solid like it will congeal it and then the, f the smell will reduce so by tomorrow I'm not I don't think I'm going to smell anything from these fishes anymore which is good um, I also have a carton of stockfish so this is all the fish guys there's a lot of them there are about 20 pieces of fish this is still some of them here that I've wrapped this is some of them okay so I'm just putting them down this is still fish guys it's a lot of fish but I didn't joke with my food at all. This is uyayak. I don't know if you're familiar with uyayak if you're color, if you're um, Prosvivarian. We use it to make white soup and banga soup and all that. I'm supposed to be sharing this with my sister. This was also packaged for me by the lady I told you about who helped me you know 
bring everything down to Lagos from Calabar. This is the box that the fish came from, came with. So I'm done with this and I'm just going to squeeze. I was going to lay it aside. So now this is a box of stockfish, guys. I'm going to wrap them in cling film the way that I've done with this as well with the fish. I'm going to wrap each of this the same way. So I got stockfish heads. So the whole box is full of stockfish. I'm going to wrap it up. And guys, while I was out, this came in for me from my school. I applied for some um, certificate. Guys, I applied for this thing in November or so last year. See when I'm getting it. See when I'm getting it. As in, the person who was, help, who was helping me from my school, um, University of Calabar, called me on Friday to tell me that a certificate was out and all of that. If you see the way I rushed, I begged him. I was like, please. DHL this thing for me, like immediately. And so I got it. I'm so happy that I don't have to pay for sh to ship this thing to Canada because it would have been, it would have not been a joke. So I'm just going to pay to have it um, validated um, by Notary Public tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to be going to the Notary Public to have this validated. And then, yeah, I'll explain more about that when I'm talking about how to register as a radiographer in Canada. So, yes, that's it. I have another box here that has all the vegetables, dried vegetables, and my crayfish and stuff. But I'll get to that in a bit. So, the lady helped me package these things. These are fish mix. Fish mix. I don't even know what this is. This, this has no label. I have to call her. But I'm guessing it's fish mix, like the same, has no label, but I'm guessing it's fish mix too. So I have four, three bottles of that fish fish mix. This is afang, dried afang. And then my dried prawns. Okay. I got the big prawns, guys. I think I got about five packets of this. I'm not going to be grinding them. I'm going to take them like this just because it's easier for me to cook with it like this. I don't know. I just like it because by the time I grind everything, I will have to label it to know and anything can happen and I'll lose track. So I'm taking them like this. I don't mind. It's okay. It's not stressing me. This is bitter leaf. I didn't do a lot of bitter leaf. I just did one container, I think. So this is just bitter leaf dried dehydrated bitter leaf for my um, for my guano soup this is oven dried snails there are about 80 pieces of them here these are oven dried snails guys i don't know if you can see can you guys see sorry Eliana is just having a blast here making noise um i don't know we call this ngolo but we call it nkonko this is dried and conco, one custard rubber of dried and conco. Following me all the way. Nice. Yeah. And then of course more, more dried prawns. Eliana, can you stop? Can you stop? More dried prawns. More dried prawns. This is all four. I asked her to help grant me some. So this is all four. This is a four as well. Okay. So I don't even have to post her contacts. This is her name, the Charlie's Foods. She's on Instagram. You can go check her out. This is her Instagram handle, the Charlie's underscore palm oil food. So she, I got a um, ten liters of palm oil from her, which I have cargoed today, guys. Oh, let me just show you this other bag. So these are also vegetables that I'm going with. Okay. Already packaged, so I'm not going to have to do it. I'm just going to wrap them in um, newspapers. And then these are the crayfish. Okay, crayfish. I said this is proper Oron crayfish, not Lagos crayfish. Proper Oron crayfish. 
I got about three. I'm not grinding this as well. But I think I got about three of this, yeah. I got about three. Guys, please don't tell me that this is a lot of food. My plan is not to buy anything for a while, okay? So I did not spare any cost when it came to food. And I allocated enough space to help me carry my food in peace. And I did cargo some food. So all my goosey and uh, bono and um, my periwinkles, my dehydrated periwinkles and um, pepper soup mix and um, bono and what else did I cargo? So anyway, all those things are cargoed them today and hopefully I'll get them soon. So guys, let me just continue wrapping up my fish and then I'll, I'll see you guys when I'm done. I'll show you what it looks like in the bag and what it weighs. Okay?